Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2018 Winnebago Mini Plus 27 BHSS. This is a nice luxury bunk model. You'll see it's nice and open in here. You have the super slide really opening this space up. And with the lighter wood and the barreled ceiling, it is a very open and airy camper. Uh, you can take a look at the barreled ceiling there, see how much extra space it gives you. LED lights running the entire length of the ceiling here also help make it nice and bright. Plus they don't put out uh, near the heat and use a fraction of the power as your standard incandescent bulbs. While we're looking at the ceiling, a couple other things up here, you'll see you do have a couple speakers. Those are connected to the multimedia center here I'll show you in just a moment. You also have a King Jack TV antenna to easily find local channels. This is a low profile antenna. You don't have to raise it or lower it, just turn it to find the best signal. You also have a skylight here in the kitchen, bringing in some extra light during the day. And you have a ducted AC here with a quick dump option. That way you can open it up when you're loading or unloading the camper to quickly cool it off. Uh, but let's actually start right over here as far as some of the features you can see uh, on this wall as soon as you walk in i like they did this they gave you a couple coat hooks so you walk in you know it's cold you hang your jackets up your sweatshirt whatever it may be and underneath you'll see you have space there so you can take your shoes your flip-flops off and toss them right in there your control panel is nice and high so you won't have you know smaller kids coming here and turning on your water heater playing with your lights anything like that and over to the side, look at all this nice extra storage there. You have the net on here, but you know, for some of your, uh, you know, some of your other items that you may get into fairly often before you head out the door, that's a nice extra storage area. Or, you know, if you want to put kids' clothes up there, not a bad spot either. Speaking of the kids, right back here are your two uh, double bunks. In the industry, this is what we call a double over a double because you have two double wide beds. 250 pound weight capacity on here, teddy bear bunk series. Look how nice and thick the mattresses are. You know, not all uh, bunk mattresses are made the same, even though you may have other ones that are teddy bear bunk series, a lot of them are about half this thickness. So uh, nice premium beds back here. You have a window on both the top and bottom there, privacy curtain. And if you take a look right over here, on both the top and bottom, you also have an LED light and a dual USB port. Uh, you know, I know that we go camping to get away from electronics, but I'm telling you, on a rainy day, if the kids can sit here in the bunks and plug in their iPads, their smartphones, whatever it may be, uh, they have that extra space, they can stay out of your hair, it can definitely be a lifesaver. So I do like the fact they have that on both bunks. Built-in ladder also makes it nice and easy to climb up on the top bunk. You know, again, I know that may seem minor, but it's generally the smaller kids that want to sleep up on the top bunk. You know, the older you get, you don't want to climb up there. So it's, uh, smaller kids want up here and it's hard for them to get up without the ladder. So uh, I do like the fact that that is built in. Then right underneath, you can see again, more nice big storage. So that's an excellent place. And if you have a duffel bag of clothes, maybe you want to throw a laundry basket in there for dirty clothes, uh, whatever it may be, but that is a big storage area down there. Right back here in the corner is your rear bathroom. One of the things I really like about Winnebago on the insides are their interior doors. The reason, one, you'll see it's actually framed out in wood rather than plastic. The other thing, take a look at this. When I shut it, it's not shaking a whole bunch in there. It shuts nice and easy each and every time. The door's not bouncing back. I don't have to force it shut. And again, I know that seems minor, but when you're out there RV shopping, compare the Winnebago doors with other manufacturers and you'll quickly see what I'm talking about. Now, when we step into the bathroom, you'll notice immediately how large it is. It's a big bathroom back here, especially for a bunk model. Right down in the corner is your foot flush lever toilet there. Right up above that, you see you have some nice extra storage, good linen closet there. So, you know, if you have towels or other items you want to put in here, you can do that. This shelf is removable. So if you have really tall items you want to stick in there, you can take that shelf out. Maybe you want to put like a small hanging rod, small tension rod up there or something, you can do that too. LED lights throughout here, you know, see it's nice and bright in the bathroom. Right back here in the corner is your new angle shower. I'll step in here just to give you an idea of the height. You know, I'm six foot. As you can see, I have plenty of space to the top here. It's, again, one of those big advantages of that barreled ceiling. It's nice and tall. You know, even if you're, you know, six four, six five, with this skylight, you still have plenty of space. Hand wand over to here, make it nice and easy to wash up. Couple of shelves, and the doors are on a roller track. The reason I like that is when you're done showering and you open up, all the water that's on the inside of the doors here goes down into the shower pan, rather than a swing door where the water tends to get on the floor. 
Right outside of that, you can see you have nice big countertop space here in the bathroom. So you have plenty of space to, you know, set your toothbrush, if you have lotion or perfume, whatever it may be that you want out, you know, place to set your curling iron. Uh, you have the electrical outlet right over here to the side. Nice stainless steel bowl, so nice upgraded bowl in here. You can see your hand towel ring right over here. Mirrored medicine cabinet with good storage in it. You'll see it, toilet paper holder. You can mount that wherever you want. Right up top, you also have the nice decorative vanity light there. And then up at the very top, you see you have your uh, vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. Underneath the countertop, you do have some nice cubby holes over to the side. And then right over here is some additional storage. So we make our way back out into the main living space, you will see the large super slide here. Uh, right over to the one side is the tri-fold sofa. The reason I like tri-folds is not only are they comfortable to sit on, but it's easy to make up the bed and it makes a extremely comfortable bed. That way your guests won't hate you when they wake up in the morning. All you have to do is take off the back cushions like I showed you right there. This part folds out. You have your two legs here. Those drop right down. You then take the back, drop this part down, and your bed is made. And this is what your guests get to sleep on. You get to use the actual cushions of the couch here itself. You don't have a bar in your back or an air mattress that's going to deflate on you. So again, it is a nice, comfortable night's rest. Uh, right over to the side here is your U-shaped dinette. If you take a look at this, you'll see how nice and big it is. Again, this is the stone interior you have. The cool thing about this is this makes into a bed as well. So not only can you have two adults on the, uh, the tri-fold sofa there, you can also sleep two adults on the U-shaped uh, dinette. This is also very nice or very easy to do. You see you have the table right here. All you have to do is you pull this pin out just like so, and then it swings out and down. So what it'll do, as it swings out and down just like so, kind of locks into place. You move it right into here. You can take the back cushions, you'll stuff the back cushions in here, and that will create that additional sleeping space. And again, after you take all these cushions out, this bed is large enough for two adults to sleep here as well. During the day, however, because chances are you will have the kids with you in the bunks, this is an excellent area to be able to sit and have a meal together, play a game together. The U-shaped dinette allows for more people to sit around it. You have big windows all the way around to let in lots of natural light. And on both sides, both here by the dinette, as well as over by the tri-fold sofa, you have a standard electrical outlet and dual USB port, so you have places to plug in your electronics. If we take a look over across the other way, here we get into the kitchen. Beautiful, solid surface countertops here in the kitchen. You can see that. Uh, you know, I really like what they've done. They have the really light woodwork. So in a little bit of contrast, they went with some darker countertops, uh, kind of with the almost gold metallic flake in there. And I think it was a good choice. You'll see you have an electrical outlet off to the side. So if you do need to plug anything in, whether it's a coffee maker, toaster, you have a place in which you can do that. Also, they gave you both uh, dual sink top covers here, which, you know, because it is solid surface, it allows them to undermount the sink and give you the nice solid surface uh, sink top covers here as well. And they also gave you a cooktop cover. That way, all of this is usable prep space. When we take these covers off, you can take a look at the undermount sink. It's a beautiful sink. Nice, really deep bowls here. You know exactly what you would expect in a luxury travel trailer. You almost have zero radius corners. That way, if you put an item here, it's going to sit there. It's not going to slide to the center of the sink. Uh, and again, you know, undermount definitely gives a cleaner look. You also have a high rise pull out faucet here. So that makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. Uh, if we take a look over at the cooktop, you can see this guy right over here. As I said, this one does have a glass cover. This simply folds back nice and easily to reveal your three burner cooktop. The other cool thing about this is this glass kind of doubles as a backsplash because it's nice and easy to clean. Right underneath, you have an oven in case you want to do some baking. And then you have a nice large pull-out drawer right underneath. Probably, in my opinion, a good spot for some of your pots and pans. And right over here, take a look at this. You have four large full extension ball bearing drawers. Big bank of drawers, so plenty of space for your silverware, you know, some of your bigger utensils. You'll see not only is it fairly long, but it's also nice and wide. So that way you have plenty of space running all the way down. Underneath the sink here, you also have some additional storage there. Uh, probably a good spot for some of your cleaning chemicals. Up along the top here, you kind of have the decorative glass. Helps break it up a little rather than wood all the way throughout. So again, I think that was a wise choice uh, on their behalf. 
and then good extra storage. You know, this essentially is good pantry storage or, you know, if you want to put your uh, plates, cups and stuff, you have to have a place for that. So this is definitely a good spot for it. This one does go all the way back. You'll see on this side, it kind of stops, but right here it goes all the way back there. So you do have uh, good storage. Then microwave right up top there, fully functional hood underneath the light and fan. Window in the kitchen here as well to let in some natural light during the day. Rounding out our kitchen right over here is the Dometic fridge freezer combo. As I open this guy up, you can see it's nice and open there. Cut out right here for some of your taller items. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. And then underneath, take a look at that. You have a drop down compartment. So if you don't wanna put your pots and pans in the drawer or if you have overflow, you have a lot of them, you can certainly fit some in here. You know, some of your actual residential cookware will, will fit in there as well. And then lastly, as we come over here in the main living area, you have the entertainment center itself. The TV is directly across from the couch, exactly where you want it. That way you can sit there and watch TV without craning your neck. Multimedia center right below it. Uh, as I mentioned previously, this does control the speakers inside. It also controls the speakers outside. This is your radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you do want to watch a movie, you can pop it right in there. And that unit is also Bluetooth capable. Right over to the side here, you have a nice open cubby hole. You can see all of your components are in there. So if you, you know, have any auxiliary components or anything you need to plug in, you want to bring, I don't know, like an Xbox or PlayStation or something with you for the kids, you can put that in there too. And then over here to the side, you have some nice, good, versatile storage. Uh, you know, we do have to clean it out. There's a little some uh, shavings in there, but you can see you have good storage here, both in the top and bottom. This other side is a little more versatile. You have a removable shelf in here as well as a hanging rack. So if you do want to use this to hang kids clothes or, you know, again, maybe you want it uh, for jackets when you come in, something like that, you do have a couple different options there. As we step into the bedroom, one of the things I also enjoy is this right here. You have this huge slider door on here, which is awesome. Not only does it look really nice, but it also provides some added privacy, you know, whether it be from the kids, the guests, whoever it is. But I do like, again, the big door. Uh, you'll see the queen size bed right here, extremely comfortable too. If you take a look at the mattress, you can see it actually has like a little bit of a pillow top on there and it has storage underneath. The storage is very easy to get to. That's another thing Winnebago does very well. You'll see the struts here, lift the bed nice and high. The reason I think that's important is if you have a bad back, you know, sometimes the beds only lift about here and it's hard to get underneath there. You almost have to get on your hands and knees. Not the case here, it's very easy to bend over and access anything you need to right here under the bed. Both sides of the bed have mirrored wardrobe. You can see the hanging space right in there. Uh, and then directly underneath that, you have a nice little nightstand here. And uh, in the side of that nightstand, you have both a standard electrical outlet as well as dual USB ports, giving you uh, ample spots to plug in, not just your electronics, but also if you sleep with a CPAP machine or anything like that, you have a place in which you can plug that in. Both sides of the bed have windows, so you can get some cross ventilation. The one side is an emergency exit. A couple adjustable reading lights here, so you can turn those uh, you know, any way you want. And then right up top, again, you have nice, good storage here. Take a look at that. You'll see how big and open this is. It is strut supported, so it's just simple one hand operation. Up on the ceiling here, you see you have your vent, couple speakers, and over on the one side, you also have TV plug-ins. So if you do want to watch a show before bed, that is where you would hook it up. Now that we've seen the beautiful interior, let's take a look at some of the great features on the outside of the Mini Plus 27 BHSS. Starting right up front, here is your power tongue jack. This, of course, makes it nice and simple to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. You simply have to flip the switch here to raise and lower the tongue. And right underneath, you have a light for some extra visibility at night. Behind that, you have your propane tank cover, which houses two 30-pound tanks. So they already come with your larger propane tanks, which is nice. You know, lets you camp a little bit longer there. Very easy to access as well. Just undo these two thumb screws here. That would allow you to lift up the door and give you direct access to both those tanks. Now, if you take a look behind that, you'll see the rails there for your battery. It is wide enough. If you want to put two batteries there, you can certainly do that as well. And then coming up the front is a black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by the tow vehicle. The front end here is kind of a three quarter cap. It's really nice looking. Uh, you'll see it has uh, you know, some nice aerodynamics in here as well as uh, you have, has a couple LED lights there too. So that way it gives it a nicer look at night. All in all, I think it's a great looking front end. When you come around to the side, look at the pass through storage. This is one of the things 
that really sets the Mini Plus apart from a lot of other quality uh, high-end travel trailers is the size of the storage here. Magnetic latch, I may add, which makes it nice and simple to put up. But look at that. Not only is this wide, but look how much height you get in here. This is, you know, reminiscent of what you see in a lot of fifth wheels. And the reason for that is they utilize a drop frame construction, which is something you commonly see in high-end fifth wheels. What that is, if you take a look underneath here, the frame, you know, kind of, you can kind of see the frame where it runs along and then all of a sudden, boop, they drop it down right here. It still has excellent structural integrity and it gives you all that added space in the pass-through. Also in the pass-through, you can see the aluminum. You know, this one does have aluminum framing on there. You'll also see the LED light strip that goes across. Rather than just having a small light, they give you an entire strip so that way it lights up the whole pass-through area there. Let's talk a quick, uh, talk quick minute about the sidewalls on here. Winnebago has some of the best sidewalls in the towable industry. The reason is they use a T60 fiberglass. Uh, what that is, basically it's a thick fiberglass sheet. So it's actually solid, comes in one big sheet. Most manufacturers, when they're in the travel trailer line, they use a fiberglass that comes on the roll. They have to put a Luon backer on there to give it some added strength. T60 is definitely a big step up above that. It's what, again, a lot of the high-end fifth wheels use. On top of that, they put a true poured gel coat exterior. That's why you don't see any fibers in here. That's what gives it that shine and luster. So when you look at a Winnebago, you can see your reflection, which you don't see that again on a lot of other competitors. The other cool thing about that is you can buff it. It'll keep that shine and luster. It's a very similar process to how they make a boat hull. So if you're familiar with boats, you can definitely appreciate the exterior here. Large power awning, you'll see that does cover your entrance there as well. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And underneath that, sewn into the awning materials, an LED light strip. The reason I like it when they do it that way, it's something that LCI has kind of been doing lately on a lot of their awnings. Uh, but the reason I like it, one, it doesn't matter if your awning's rolled all the way up like it is right now, or if it's fully extended, you can still utilize those LED lights. The other thing I like about it is it naturally makes the angle come down on your campsite rather than showing out at your neighbors. Underneath that, you have two outside speakers. Those speakers are connected to that multimedia center inside. As I mentioned, that unit is Bluetooth capable. Uh, if we take a look right over here, this is pretty neat too. Let's take another look underneath. So we took a look at the, uh, the frame itself. We did see that. Uh, a couple things I didn't mention. One, if you look up at the very front, you'll see huck bolt construction. The, uh, the Mini Plus here utilizes the, the huck bolt construction on the frame, which I really like. It has a couple advantages over your welded frame. Uh, one is the fact that the number one place your frame rusts out at is right at those weld seams. So by eliminating that weld seam, you greatly reduce the chance for rust to start there. Also, if you ever do get into an accident, a huck bolt frame is much easier to repair or replace, meaning it is much less expensive for you. While you're up there, you'll also see a propane quick connect. That is one of two. There's another one in the back I'll show you. But this is really cool. If you want to hook a grill or something up here, you can just plug it in right there. Uh, but the other reason I wanted to take a look under here was these guys. You have BAL power jacks on here. But the thing that's really neat about it, if you take a look, you have two controls up here. You'll also have two controls in the back. Most manufacturers have one control that operates both the front, one that operates both the back. This gives you more flexibility and control over your stabilizer jacks. Right over here is your gravity fill. When you go around the other side, you can see you can uh, fill your tanks with pressure as well. But, you know, if you don't have uh, uh, city water anywhere nearby and need to fill it up, you do have the gravity fill option here. Making our way back a little bit further, if you want outside TV, this is where it goes. They went ahead and built a backer right here into the wall so you know exactly where to mount it. Your uh, cable outlet as well as your electrical outlet are right there as well. And as always, your electrical outlet obviously can be used for anything, not just for a TV. You need to plug in cell phones, crock pots, electric griddle, whatever it may be. That is the place to do it out here. If you take a look down below, you have aluminum alloy wheels. Not only do those look awesome, but also they won't rust on you and it's less chance for corrosion. You'll also see nitrogen filled tires there. So hopefully, uh, in theory, it will, your tires will hold that pressure for a longer period of time. It's always something I recommend with any RV. You always want to check your tire pressures before each and every trip. 
Getting into the 27 BHSS is nice and simple. You have three foldable aluminum steps here. Again, the great thing about aluminum, it doesn't rust, so you'll have nice looking steps. Also, with the uh, rubber grip strips on there in conjunction with your foldable easy grab handle here, you have excellent control from the first step into the coach all the way back out. And you'll see the steps nice and low, so that way if you have bad knees, you're not going to hurt yourself getting in and out of here. You know, so mom or grandma or grandpa, whoever it may be, can easily still enter and exit this RV. Right over here is your outside kitchen. Again, it is magnetic, stays up there nice and easy for you. Outside refrigerator. For me, this is one of the most important things. You can see that guy right there. You know, this is, I love having this. This is where you can put your beverages. You can have pop for the kids, you know, maybe some beer for yourself, condiments you can put out there. Right up top, you have some good extra storage here. You know, you want a place to put your uh, solo cups or, you know, paper plates. You can put them right out here. You have an LED light up there for some light at night. And then right here, you have a cooktop. You can pop this guy open. It comes with a two burner cooktop. And as I had mentioned earlier, directly underneath is that second propane quick connect. So you can take that cooktop, plug it right into the coach and use your big 230 pound bottles rather than the small green ones. For water access, you'll see there's also a spray port over here. So no, there's not a sink, but you know, at least you do have the water access. And it, for me personally, uh, that's all I really need. As I had previously mentioned, right there, you have your two other controls for your rear stabilizer. When we come around to the back here, back to the water heater, one of the things I do like to point out, this is a 10 gallon Atwood water heater. You don't see that very often on a travel trailer. Usually, usually you get a six gallon, so having that big water heater is great. This one does run off both propane and electric, and you can turn both of those on for higher recovery. It is a DSI water heater as well, direct spark ignition, so you don't have to come out here and worry about lighting a pilot light. Right there, you see a rear mounted ladder. This makes it nice and easy to climb up onto the roof. It is a fully walkable roof. Uh, again, as any kind of precaution with any RV, I do recommend getting up on the roof at least a couple times a year, just for simple examination, just to make sure that you don't have any, you know, uh, low hanging branches or anything that got into your roof or, you know, any uh, caulk that needs to be applied or anything like that, or sealant, I should say. Um, so yeah, definitely a good thing to have. That way you don't have to put it in your pass through, plus it lets you get up there. If for whatever reason you don't want to climb up on your roof for inspection yourself, you can always bring it by American RV. We'll get up there and take a look for you for free. Right over here, 30 amp detachable power cord. This is where it plugs in at, nice and simple. Spare tire mounted on the bumper with a cover. Uh, hopefully you never have to use that, but in the event that you do, it's nice to have the cover there, you know, great peace of mind knowing your spare tire is riding back there and it will be in good shape. Right down here is your termination. Nice and easy to get to. You see your bla uh, gray and black valves right there. And then right up top here is your black tank flush. Uh, this is great. Rather than having to take a hose, dragging it through your entire RV and stick it down the toilet to wash out your black tank, you simply put the hose right into there. The black tank has sprayers built in it and it will wash it out for you. Right here on the off door side, you have a couple other uh, features as well. One is the ZAMP Solar Prep. If you do want solar on this RV, all you have to do is buy the portable ZAMP panels, plug them in right there and it will begin to trickle charge your battery. Then right here on the off door side in your pass through, again, very similar to what you see in your higher end fifth wheels, you have a nice convenience center right here. You see you have a battery disconnect, right here is an electrical outlet, your cable as well as satellite inlets. Uh, this right here is for your city water. You can do one of two things I mentioned earlier. If it's upright, you know, it's just your city water. You can turn that to the side in order to fill up your tanks with pressurized water. Also, you have another spray port right over here for the water access, and that is where your city water will go. And because, you know, your water hoses always leak, they put this nice little tray down here so that way the water will go right on out. And then you can also put all your hoses through here so you have a clean look at the campsite. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Winnebago Mini Plus 27 BHSS. This one has the stone interior with the platinum exterior. If you're interested in this great bunkhouse, then definitely give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom. <music>